The Arch Wiki is an incredible community resource. Whether it's just doing something for my personal system or doing some video research, a lot of my research comes directly from the Arch Wiki. And up until a couple of days ago, this is the way that it looked. I think it looks pretty good on desktop. I don't really have any major complaints. Nowadays, though, it looks something like this. And the higher your resolution is, the worse this is going to get. You can sort of simulate this by just zooming out. As you can see, all of this empty space just not being used. Now, you might be wondering what happened. Well, one of the admins decided they were going to enable a mobile-first layout and make this the default for every single user. Now, before you say this is ridiculous and you go right in the street, you go uninstall Arch Linux and switch over to Debian or Void or whatever you want to switch to, let's see why the admin decided to actually do this. Luckily for us, he did explain his reasoning. It should also be noted that the Arch Wiki isn't this magical wiki project that made all of its own stuff from scratch. It is based on the Media Wiki project, which is used by most wiki sites, but most notably Wikipedia. So in the early days of the Arch Wiki, it wasn't really that usable on mobile. Yes, you could use it, but it was clearly designed around a desktop user space. This is becoming less and less common nowadays, with a lot of sites being designed around these responsive themes, but you'll still see sites every now and again that just do not work properly on mobile. Then in 2017, they swapped over from the monobook theme into the vector theme. This is the theme they've been using up until about three days ago as of the recording of this, and the vector theme had a toggle called WG Vector Responsive. This would allow you to have a responsive web design. But then as of version 1.36 of MediaWiki, this toggle no longer works with the original skin. So once again, the Arch Wiki broke on mobile. Then they went and updated all of the extensions they had to MediaWiki, pulled in the new version of the vector theme or vector skin, whatever you want to call it, and that's the one we're seeing now. It also should be noted that the new theme they're using isn't something made by the Arch Wiki devs. Obviously, they made the header bar, but this new layout, this is something actually done upstream in the MediaWiki project. But just because it's an upstream change does not mean they need to be using it. Over on the Media Wiki wiki, I guess, there's an explanation of the new theme. Also, as you can probably tell, it's not actually using the new theme. Uh, it's still using the old one. Anyway, though, so basically, in MediaWiki 1.36, a new variant of the vector was added as part of the reading slash web slash desktop improvements. While available to use, this is not actively supported for third parties at the time of writing and used at your own risk. Official support for this skin should be added as part of the 1.38 release. Now, even though that is the case, this skin is being used by one or more Wikimedia projects. This probably means that the skin is stable and works well enough to be used by such high traffic websites. So because it isn't officially supported, it absolutely is subject to change and rolling it out as early as they did probably isn't the best of ideas, but that's basically the state we're in. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that better support for mobile is a bad thing. You should just never use mobile to do everything on your desktop, because that would be ridiculous. There are perfectly valid reasons to open up the Arch Wiki on mobile. Let's say you only have one screen and you just want to have it separately from your main screen. Perfectly fine. Let's say you're installing Arch Linux and you want to actually open up the Arch Wiki, but you don't have like a second computer and you don't want to open up through like a terminal based browser because you can't read the wiki and also go through the steps at the same time. Or maybe you break Xorg and you want to work through the steps so you can actually fix it. All perfectly good reasons or just any other reason why you might want a mobile site to actually be working well. And there are legitimate readability benefits that come from centering the text like this and having these massive margins, especially with modern widescreen displays. Especially if you get into the case of, say, an ultra wide, where the arch wiki on an ultra wide would look something like this, where the text stretches across the entire screen, and in many cases, an entire sentence might just be a single line. Obviously, it looks ridiculous on an ultra wide, but you can still read the text fairly well. And there are other benefits that come from this new layout as well. I will leave a link to the reading, web, and desktop improvements in the description down below. And if you want to go and read through all of this, 
go ahead and do so, there is some technical design language in here that you might find somewhat interesting. What I find ridiculous, though, is the way the admin's been approaching some of the criticism, sort of gaslighting about the fact this is not a mobile layout. Everybody who has a working pair of eyes can see, yes, this is a mobile layout. There's no argument you can make this is not a mobile layout. That's clearly what it is. But when someone brought this up, obviously not in the nicest way they could have, I do disagree with the way they phrased this, but he said, it's not a mobile version, then linked to that page I mentioned just before. You either don't understand web design, or you are actively lying about what you said in your own explanation post, because in this post, you said you made the change to make the mobile version better, and you can never have a layout that works perfectly on both desktop and mobile, because they are completely different form factor devices, and if you're going to use a single layout for both devices, it's always going to favour one over the other, and in this case, it's clearly favoring mobile. And I want to make it clear that I'm not saying this is inherently a bad change, but you made this change and you made this change to a mobile layout. So stand behind the fact that you did that and don't pretend like that's not what you did. I've seen some people saying that maybe this layout change was a mistake or maybe it's a bug. No, this is not a mistake. This was intentionally changed to be like this. Will it be changed back? No, the theme stays if you have issues with it, complain to Upstream and then links to the Upstream project. So because it's not going to be rolled back, let's go and fix it instead. So you might have noticed that I actually had these two versions of the site open. One of them has a slightly different URL. So what you need to do is add in question mark to make it a query string, use skin version equals one. I will leave this string in the description down below, and then when you do that, it's going to swap back to the legacy layout. There are also web extensions you can use to do redirections as well, one of those being the redirector extension, and every time you go to the arch wiki, basically it'll just send you to a version that has this query string attached. Now, it is a little bit complicated, so I'll leave someone's attempt in the description down below. There is actually a much better solution than this, it's just not a great solution. And that solution is make an ArchWiki account. So once you've done that and then logged in, go into your preferences, go under the appearance section, and then set to use legacy vector. And when you do that, then you will have the way the site used to look. The reason why this isn't a great solution is because if you want to make an account on the ArchWiki, then you need to give them an email address. And I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like to give out email addresses to random sites. Obviously, you could just make a burner email, and that's probably the best idea to do. Now, do you know what would be a really, really good improvement here, which probably should have been there before they changed over to the new layout? Add a button. Add a button here. Add a button in the bar. Add a button somewhere on the page. Add a button somewhere so I don't have to make an account or modify a query string just to switch back to the old layout. It will take maybe two minutes and everything will be solved. No one will complain. Sure, someone will be like, oh, new layout look bad, but there's a button there and they can turn it off. But you know what? It is what it is. Now, when it comes to big usability improvements, because I know that you can make your own custom theme for MediaWiki because you have modified the theme, See this giant table of contents? Obviously, you can hide it, but do you know what would be a better idea? Take this, stick it over here. Then, when you open up this page, you see content. You don't see this giant ass table of contents, which is actually even more annoying on mobile because it literally takes up your entire screen. So I think the new wiki change looks absolutely horrible and I've made an account so I'm going to try to avoid it for as long as is physically possible. But because it is a legacy layout, it is very possible that at some point it will be deprecated and then removed entirely from the project, at which point, I guess, I don't know, I'll complain again. Or maybe, maybe I'll just spend the time making a custom CSS theme just to bring back an old layout that I think looks way, way better. Or maybe someone else will do it, which I wouldn't be surprised if it actually does happen. Now, just because I think this is a horrible change 
does not mean you should go and harass the admin who made the change, harass any of the other developers on the ArchWiki project, or harass anyone working on the MediaWiki project. Most of these people are just volunteers. For, for the most part, managing a wiki isn't going to be a full-time job. But even so, if there is a bad change, I'm going to tell you it's a bad change, and you just have to live with it. And if you like the new theme, like when Firefox changed their theme, that's great. Go ahead and use it. That's cool. That's one less thing you have to worry about in your day. Use whatever you're comfortable with. So that's going to be it for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like this change? Do you hate it? Are you going to go back to the old one? I would love to know. And if you like this video and you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. All of my other links are down there as well. And yeah. I don't know how to do the outro. I'm out, I guess. <laughs>